because I don't want to hold Miss Greer hostage. <laughs> She's been sweet enough to come in here. So we'll start. All right, Miss Greer. So welcome to the space, my dear. It's nice to see you on the opposite side of the virtual stage. So um, Miss Greer, tell me a little, just tell us a little bit about the journey. You know, I always love it when people come back in. You took your exam, I believe, what, Saturday? Uh, tell us about the experience as well as um, what program did you come from? I believe it was boot camp. I'm not sure. And when did you take it? Yes. Yeah, so um, I attended your boot camp that was just last, um, I think it started last September through uh, the end of October, I believe. Um, and so that was a great experience for me because um, I had taken my test twice before. Um really blindly because I didn't have really good studying skills. Um, and so I was like just intimidated by all the material and I had been out of school for a couple of years. Um, so your boot camp really like help add structure. Um, the just the support system that it had, um, just the different ways that you gave us the material like a you know, like the written form and then the audio and the flashcards, like all those things. And then the Saturdays, like all of it put together just really gave me more confidence to um, learn the knowledge or the information. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Greer. And share a little bit about, I know you were in the space for a little bit. Um, I don't know how long you were in the space because you were always down there in the audience. You never came up on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um. It was probably like a couple of months because my sister, she lives in Atlanta and she actually told me um, she had got on Clubhouse before I did. And she passed her exam um, after just uh, listening on your Clubhouse and like taking uh, just notes from that. Um, so she told me about it when she passed her exam. So I think I was on it for like a couple of months before I was like, OK, I heard all the success and I was like, I just need to, you know, invest in me. And so that's what I did with joining the boot camp. Thank you, ma'am. And again, you know, you got we got some people in the audience that, um, including one of my <laughs> soon to be former clients who's out in the audience. She's like, "You got anybody that's come on tonight? I need to hear their story." And I remember you sharing your, I put your a snippet of your video up, um, on across my social media so people can understand uh, what that did for you. You were so excited and beaming um, when you passed your exam. Uh, when I got your message, I believe it was Saturday. Um, I, talk about that journey because it wasn't easy for you. You had a couple of times where you, you had a couple of failed attempts. Um, a lot of us, when we fail, and I hear it all the time where people will get stuck in that failure and mm -hmm. your colleagues out here tonight, they need that motivation to stick with their process. They need that motivation to keep going in. You know, I, they hear my story all the time. Okay. <laughs> they heard it every time and I share it. And, you know, I, it's, it's something that I do to, to put myself out there in terms of letting people on know, I know the struggle, but with yours, you just passed this thing. Um, Saturday, I talk about that journey in terms of going, you know, going from, you know, your process of, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this to actually seeing that pass, because I know now they don't, you don't get a chance to see it on the screen. You have to go to the test proctor to get your printout sheet. I know that's changed. So yeah. talk about that. Um, so the, so my two failed attempts before I started the boot camp, um, I was kind of let down. I was kind of frustrated, but I was, you know, kind of like, well, I really didn't do my part, so I wasn't like too upset. Um, but then when I started doing the boot camp and I felt like confident and I was taking practice tests and you know, I was like hitting you up like, okay, I passed about this much, but what do you think? And you know, all that type of thing. And so um I after the boot camp, I took the test in November. And so that was my third time taking the exam. <laughs> and I just was like, okay, I just know I did my part, like it's gonna be good. And I failed it by three. <laughs> and um, I called you right afterwards or I texted you. I was crying. <laughs> and so um, I was just like, I felt so defeated and I felt like I gave it my all. So I just didn't understand like why well, I didn't pass. And, you know, so you just, you know, told me to study certain sections, you know, and just like go back, don't give up. Like that's where the quit is. It's like not going back, you know, so like failing, it just is just the test. And that's what I told myself is 
pastime. I remember you saying like, it's just a test. It doesn't define you. It's just something we need to do. So I just was like self-talking, positive self. And I had to push it back further than I wanted to. Um, so I was kind of like a little anxious because I um, wasn't able to take it like shortly after and so um i was just a little nervous and i just told myself i'm gonna keep studying and you know push through and whatever happens is gonna happen and so when i went in this time um i was a little bit more like i told myself i wasn't gonna be anxious this time and i wasn't gonna like let this test like rule my emotions i guess and so i tried my best to just be really like chill take my time and it really helped me because even the other times I almost ran out of time um, when I was taking it. But this time, because I guess my mindset was a little different, um, I had like 20 minutes left over and I was able to like go through each question that I flagged and everything. It was just like a, I don't know, it was a process of like, man, I just hope I get it. But if I don't, like, I don't know, but I don't know. I just, you know, took my time and took the test. And so it was on the paper and not on the computer. So that like is like a whole nother like process of walking out. The guy knows my face. And so it's a bit annoying. <laughs> and so, um, so when I got the paper and I just, you know, left it out and I wasn't even sure when I was going to open it. Cause I was just so tired of seeing failed. Um, and I like peeked at it and it said pass. And it was like, every failed attempt was worth it every study um all the times that i had to study and like it just was it just felt worth it because it felt like i put my hard work um has shown and proven itself and just to share it with people and like people who know that i've been like struggling to take this exam just saying how proud they are of me and then now being able to go into the next steps to do my supervision and um to then take my license and for my you know, licensed clinical social work. I'm just excited to continue on the journey. So, yay! I, and I'm excited for you. And it, I, I wanted you to share, you know, your full journey, right? Uh, you know, the fails in the past and the type of support that you received. Because I remember you called me, and you know, I'm not a, I don't have a magic wand, right? All I can do is give you the process, the support, and the structure. Um, so, you know, my passing rate is pretty good. However, I'm still human, right? So. You, when we talked, and I remember you calling me, you were just, <laughs> you were beside yourself. And I said, what did I tell you? Do you remember? Um, I remember you telling me to keep going. It's just a test. It doesn't define me. Um, and uh, to study the, the areas that I, um, like, was weakest in. Um, and don't give up. Like, I just remember. Yeah. I, and I distinctly remember that, you know, um, because you called me, you have my direct number. Um, mm -hmm. Don't know how many, you know, tutors or coaching um, people that you can say you have the direct number to. You can just call me. <laughs> right. And, right I, and, I, and I allow that because the support very much differs. What was it in the boot camp that was helpful to you, knowing that you had a support system, knowing you could call me, um, that you have my number, that you could text me, that type of relationship? Was that helpful for you during the process? Um, absolutely. And even every Saturday, like, you, you know, at the end of it, you say, I have a few minutes, like, if you don't want to stay on and let everybody hear the conversation, like, in, immediately, like, you would call or even, like, if I would text at night, you like, oh, yeah, I'm up. Or even if you were busy because you take time for your family, which is very understandable, um, you would reach out, like, the next day and say, like, oh, yeah, you know, I was doing family things, but, like, how can I help you today? Like, you know, so you were just always there. And another big thing that I think is um, – very um that stuck out to me with your boot camp versus other options that i've seen is that it's like eight weeks and so you really get to teach us or help us learn and teach uh, you know, teach us the material versus when people just try to cram like suggestions in in a weekend and then, you know, you still have to do it all on your own. So it was really like you helped us go through the process, like literally, and that was big for me. And thank you for saying that, you know, again, it's, you know, you guys are hearing it from the horse's mouth, right? And in terms of what makes me very different um, in terms of coaching than someone just, just going to tutor you, even in a group setting, I want to, you know, she, Ms. Greer Spears said, I want to walk you through some of you guys out there have been in my boot camp. I want to walk you guys through that process. You're not doing it alone every week we're meeting. And for some of you that I've met, um, even during the group, if people would call me in, at, in late evening or at night, text, like, are you available? I'm, I'm on the edge of an anxiety cliff. Um, and I would say, Hey, call me, you know, even though we have session that Saturday, 
you have my number, use it. You know, I want people to feel that they have somebody to lean on um, during that process. You know, in regular boot camps, they just give you the material, say, all right, see ya, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I very much remember what it was like to walk that journey. I've walked it four times alone in two different mm -hmm. exams. So for you, Ms. Greer, to watch you, I mean, I watched your video over and over, you know, every time some, one of you guys pass, it, it makes me feel like I'm passing my exam all over again, because I know how hard it is. And there's actually somebody in the chat um, <laughs> that says, uh, Ms. Brian, actually, I love this. I just failed my exam this past Saturday, and this was for me. And I think that's for everyone that's ever failed, even for me, even now, mm -hmm. even though I'm way past that process now. Ms. Greer, I, I just thank you so much for coming in here and sharing because failure is real. You know, mm -hmm. failure hurts, but being able to move through it yeah. and being able to extract the lessons from it and mm -hmm. also asking for help, knowing that you needed to do something different. And you did, despite what happened after you only missed it by what, three points. Mm -hmm. Was that the closest you had ever been before you passed? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, in terms of the structure, the support, the material that you got, um, and you reached out to me a couple of times, even between all of that, you know, I, I try to make it my business to make sure that you're feeling emotionally and okay to take this test. It's, it's about mindset. So I know some people probably have some buzzing um, questions in the chat. Uh, a lot of people are saying congratulations to you, and I do have to let Ms. Greer grow soon. But if there is any questions you guys may have about the um, question, I know one of the burning questions I get often when it comes to the current platform of the test is the three answer questions. Now, I'm sure you saw those, right? The three answer, a few of those. Mm -hmm. How many of those did you actually see? Uh, well, you know, I wasn't really keeping, <laughs> keeping track of it. Um, I do know that I was using, um, I don't know what that app is. I was trying to remember, but I was using an app that in their practice questions, they had it in there. So it kind of like made it, um, made me more comfortable with it. Um, so I can't really remember, but. It, that's okay. Yeah, it was quite a few, remember. right? Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jenny said, Jenny in the chat says she didn't see a lot, only about 10 at most. And I okay. wanted to talk about that very briefly, Ms. Greer, because what I'm getting a lot of, and I have to address it in my social media channels, is some people are asking, you know, does taking away one question, is does it make it easier? It doesn't. You still need to know the content and okay. also the content of the outline from ASWE. That doesn't change. They're still testing you on the same content. All they're doing is taking one question away. You mm -hmm. know, for some people that may make the difference, but to me, um, in terms of strategy, it doesn't. You still right. have to take away two to get to your best choice. But what was that process that way like for you? Like when you passed, um, I know it could probably be an undescribable feeling. It took me a while to process it. It probably won't hit you till you get your <laughs> your license number and your license in the middle. Um, right. I, I want you to, you know, I hope you feel like Superwoman because you are in that moment that you realize like I did something, you feel like, when you get it, it's like you can take over the world, right? You mm -hmm. feel that that's a wonderful feeling to know that you move past your thoughts of failing um, to be able to get to that point of succeeding. You did not let that stop you. And so many of us need to hear that. Um, again, you are freshly out of the exam. You're going to be out of fly out the nest of this room. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that you trusted me enough to go from being in the virtual seats Mm -hmm. you know, to even after that attempt, um, still looking to me for support and allowing me to support you as you ventured into it again. Yes. And I thank you because every step of the way, even I've been out of boot camp for, I don't know, three or four months and I was still able to text you and celebrate you, celebrate with you and you celebrate me. And so that just says a lot too. like, you don't just write us off, you know, after boot camp is over, like you're still there. So I appreciate that. You're welcome. And I did want to address one thing. I see Priscilla P says actually three answer questions seem to be a little bit more difficult. They're only difficult if you have gaps in knowledge. Just mm -hmm. like there's really not much of a difference. You taking away one answer choice does not change the content that they're testing you for. You know, whether they're four answer questions or three answer questions, it really doesn't matter because the outline of the content stays the same. 
So I, I really wanted to drive that home. Them take, I, I don't like it, the fact that they just have, you know, if you're going to make it three answer questions, make it all the way through, make the whole change. They're not planning on changing it totally until mm -hmm. January, 2025. Um, mm -hmm. But that's all they're doing right now is taking away one answer. You still need to know how to break down the question because if not, you're going to miss that possible answer choice. With that, Ms. Greer, I thank you so much for coming in. Um, I appreciate your time. Congratulations, and thank you for coming in and just pouring into your peers. Um, they needed to hear that. You know, a lot of people look for motivation when we have people that pass uh, when they can. And thank you for just taking the time out to pour into your colleagues because you were once one of them, <laughs> right? Yes, you yes, see your people yes. fly out of here, and now it's your time until we meet again for your clinical and I will be here when it's time for you to get supported for that. Well, thank you so much. And if and I just want to say too, like we have to celebrate our peers because sometimes like it gets overwhelming. Um, we can't get defeated in seeing like if we fail and then somebody passed because that was happening too. Like people were passing as soon as the boot camp was over, and then I took mine and I failed, and I was like, oh my gosh. But it's just still about like pushing through and just knowing that if they did it, that we can too. So but that's it thank you so much for having me and thank you for coming so with that you get to fly on out of the nest girl you got me <laughs> you're gone you're gone you're gone okay bye you guys have a good evening bye 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 well you guys i hope um that was a nice little treat for you guys uh, to hear miss Greer's story and again um some of you guys i've known for as long as i've had this group uh, some of you have known just within the past year, know that you can pass this exam. Um, stay encouraged and just stay true to yourself and your capabilities of passing because she's taken it four times. That was her fourth time and she passed. Some people I know have taken it more than that, um, but you got to keep trying. You cannot give up. Because if you give up on you, you give up on everyone else that's coming behind you.